Bacalom. Shah Bacalom. Our Torah reading this week has a line where at the very end of Moses' life, he's speaking to the people, he's giving his final speech, it's the book of Deuteronomy, and he's trying to impress upon the people that they should follow the Torah. And he says to them, surely this instruction which I enjoin you this day is not too baffling for you, nor is it beyond reach. Not too baffling? <laughs> Jews have spent 3,500 years trying to understand the Torah and sharpening their teeth on it and commentating over thousands of years. And the Torah has four levels of interpretation over many different understandings and ways of looking at it. And one of them is so it's secret, a uh, whole understanding of a Torah that very few people can understand. So how is the Torah not too baffling? So what's the, what's the exact context of this whole passage? Be a very beautiful passage in the Torah. And I think it relates also to where we are right now, just a few days before the holidays. And so right before this, Moses is talking to the people and trying to impress them to accept the Torah, but also to accept a new covenant that he's trying to bring upon them. And he's trying to say, will you follow this teaching or will you not? And will you return to God or will you not? Because if you return to God, God will certainly return to you. And so, Ibn Ezra says, well, what does it mean that the Torah is not too baffling? He says, well, the word in the Hebrew is wondrous. And he says, well, it should, the Torah should not be only for scholars. The Torah should be for everyone. Everyone should have an ability to reach some of the Torah. And he also says that the Torah shouldn't be tiresome. It shouldn't be hard to study Torah. It is very hard to study. It should be easy. It should, be, it should flow. He should say it should be like the Psalms say. It should be like eating, like sweet as honey. It should just flow into us. And so the question is, why is that not always our experience? Why doesn't the Torah always feel like it flows of who we are, how we understand the world? Why is it sometimes it is baffling to us? It is beyond our reach. And so... Um, I think if we even look more deeply at the context of this verse, and Moses is talking about tshuva, about returning to them, and he says, well, if you return to me, then God will return to you. Right? This is a good parsha before the time of year, because this is what we're thinking about, tshuva, return, how we, each of us can return um, to our tradition to who we are, choosing life and all of that. Mm -hmm. But perhaps what the Torah is saying is that the Torah is baffling and the Torah is beyond their reach when we're very far away from it. We ourselves are not where we should be. And so it feels so far, we're not in resonance with the Torah, we're not in resonance with our tradition. It feels like it's far away from us. We can't reach it, it's beyond our reach. It's far away from our hearts and from our minds. So it doesn't come with ease, it's even tiring because it's so foreign to us. But when we are in resonance with the Torah, when we are close to the Torah, then it's easy. Its words are sweet. It feels so close. It speaks to us where we are and where we're trying to go. It's automatically where we are. And really, this is what we're trying to do during these periods of the holidays. We're trying to return to that place of closeness with the Torah and with ourselves or the, and with our people and with our God. And with all of it, it feels natural. It feels part of who we are. It feels sweet. It feels like it's home. And every day as we approach Rosh Hashanah, we're a little bit closer to that experience. And maybe in some ways, you know, when we blow the shofar, we often think that we're following the shofar blast up into the heavens. But sometimes we're doing the opposite. We're trying to go back to the very source of the shofar blast deep inside of us. That's what we're doing. We're going back to who we really are. And this matches where we're going with the holidays too, because really the most important moment of the holidays is when we become like the high priest going into the Holy of Holies, touching on that place where he can meet God for all of us. And that's where we're trying to go, where it's not out of reach, it's not baffling, it's within our own self, it's there. It's not as far, it's not as the Torah then says in the heavens, and it's not in the sea, it's right there in our own heart, inside all of us. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.